one-stop shop for high quality but affordable audio. I've been consistently impressed by the sound quality, smart tech features, and long battery life with eight hours of playtime. You're getting the same quality as other brands at half the price. Raycons have been such a lifesaver for my tiny little baby ears. Every other pair of earbuds I've tried after a while of wearing them start to hurt, but with Raycon's range of custom gel tips, my ears are perfectly comfortable, even when wearing for an extended period of time. With over 50,000 five-star reviews, you can be confident about your purchase, and with their easy and free return guarantee, you're sure to be satisfied. The phone call quality is crystal clear. I love that I can walk and talk, and I can hear the other person clearly. When I'm walking my dog or working out on the treadmill, I love blasting high-energy music, especially with the bass sound profile, great for songs with strong beats. You can also choose from two other sound profiles, pure for perfect clarity or balanced for warmth and depth. You switch between the profiles by holding down on the left earbud for three seconds. Click the link in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com slash moon. 15% off your Raycon purchase. Hello. I hope that you are doing very, very, very well tonight. Tonight we are doing a show and tell. I have a variety of interesting items I'd like to show to you and tell you about. Let's start with these pajamas. I got a, I got away for a long time with Instagram not really being able to get to me with their ads. They showed me a lot of makeup, which I like. I follow a lot of makeup accounts, but I don't buy makeup much. Showed me a lot of clothes. I follow a lot of fashion accounts. I like to look, but I don't buy clothes that much. But then, one fateful evening, they showed me It always looks sweet. And then they've got matching shorts and the shorts of pockets as well. I'll wiggle around a little bit so you can enjoy some crinkles. Oh, she's wiggling. Okay. Next. Item. Mm. Let's do the owl puppet. My mom went on a trip recently and she brought this back for me as a souvenir. It's a little owl finger puppet that I was so thrilled when she brought it out, both because it's super cute. It being lovely and tingly. 
I think he's so cute. I just want to give him a pet, a pet, a pet. Super soft. Loves for his wings to be smoothed down like that. Like that. Scratches on the top of the head and the ears like that. Like that. He deserves to These are the B earrings. Don the B when you feel the vibration off in the distance or in the back of your throat. Examine your material and immaterial wealth and share a little here, a little there, dusting the ecosystem with your bounty. And these are her B chandelier earrings. I thought those were so pretty. Swirls curling around and a bee. Swirls curling around and a bee. I also got another pair from her that are these large um, moons and stars, but I can't find them. I'm, I'm sure they're tucked away in whatever purse I was wearing that day, but I don't remember what purse I was wearing that day. So they'll turn up unexpectedly someday, I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah, that's what those look like. They tend to get lost in the hair, so I have to reserve them for days where I feel like wearing an updo, or maybe um, a French braid, so I can show them off like that. They're so pretty. I had a hard time not buying everything in the display case that was by this artist. I loved everything. This one, you have to keep a secret, because this is a birthday present. For my friend Raven, also known as Busy Beam ASMR. And for her birthday, I got her this hoodie from Anime Bay. And there's this cute anime girl on it with long black hair, red eyes, bandage over her nose, bandages on her arm gotten into some real rough and tumble business lately. Knee-high black socks with white stripes. Red converts. Cool dragon tattoo going along her thigh. The next item is this interesting to spin it around and watch as gravity takes its course and the grains trickle down suspended in the liquid just very relaxing to watch I
two different demonias to show you. Uh, the first ones I purchased directly from the demonia website because I'm going to be going to Anime Expo this year dressed as B from B and Puppy Cat. And when I saw these, I just thought they looked like the perfect um, amped up over dramatized version of the shoes she's wearing. She's just wearing cute little Mary Janes, but I had a hard time finding just simple pink Mary Janes. Unfortunately, these are wildly uncomfortable for me. I was hoping I could remedy that with some inserts, but I don't know, they're just shaped weirdly. Just no matter how much I try to pad them out with inserts, my heel can't stop slipping out of the back with every step. And I even sized down, I was having that problem with the size 8. I sized down to 7 and it's like they're somehow both too small and too big at the same time. Shoes are so frustrating. It feels so impossible to find ones that are just right. But I don't know. It's so hard trying to weigh your comfort and your your look, I guess. I, I know that I want to spend hours and hours and hours exploring Artist Alley and I don't want to be suffering but I do want to be wearing these. I love the way they're subtly holographic. I think that captures the, I don't know, magic of the Income Puppy Cat very well. I love the white. I love the shade of pink. I just think they're adorable, adorable, adorable. But I did get a backup pair of just plain, flat, no heel pink Mary Janes. So I think maybe I'll have those in my bag as a backup in case these are killing me too much. So yeah, those are the ones I got for that cosplay. And then I'm going to a rave in LA next week, I think. Yeah, it's next week. Um, so I went thrifting looking for an outfit and I, these demonias were are a great price and I just thought they looked cool. I love these bolted on silver panels in the front and the back. This material is pretty. This material kind of reminds me of like what all the Marvel superhero suits are made out of these days. And then I thought this textured material on the straps was neat. And these are surprisingly comfortable. Thankfully, unlike the pink ones, these fit me great. They're a size 7. They're the Demonia Cara boots. This thrift store that I went to had 5 to 10 pairs of different Demonias that all looked very cool to me, like all lined up. And I ended up choosing these. And when I brought them up, the girl at the register was like, oh my gosh, you're so lucky. We just put those out like a minute ago. This girl brought her whole collection in this morning. And I just was like, oh, those are going to get snatched up quick. Um, and I wonder why, why this girl was bringing in her whole demonia collection. I wonder if she's switching up her style. I always think about this girl I used to know who, when she was in her early 20s, she was super duper into, I don't know how to describe it, maybe like a punk rocker style of fashion, and that was her whole wardrobe, and she got head to toe covered in tattoos that suited that style, and then once she got into her she became really into this super professional 1940s, 1950s, like Mad Men style of dressing and hated how it looked with her tattoos. I thought it looked awesome. Um, I thought it was like such a great contrast, but it made me feel so sad for her that it wasn't what she wanted anymore. But yeah, I just, I wonder if this girl It's like a light up see an enemy toy. Uh, but at the base, it has all of these light up gems that fade from color to color. And then the tips, it's got these fiber optic, fiber optic, fiber optic, fiber optic tips. They're super fun and 
you to meet the daikon man. This is a posable plush of the daikon and it's from Omega Mart which is a distinctive wrinkles on the side of the head. She recently went on a trip to visit my grandma and she brought some stuff back of my grandma's and I just love this. It's so um, Art Nouveau and it's got gorgeous flowers coming up the side here, butterflies, leaves and greenery reaching up around this woman who's perched here looking and her drapery and her gown her little feet more greenery and flowers swirling around the bottom I'm not sure who this is uh, some distant relative I wish that I could uh, touch on the frame more but the metal sounds are sort of unpleasant but I just wanted to show off the gorgeous shape because I'm going to be doing a park ranger video that I already have the backdrop for it all set up over there but I still need to work on the script it's not going to be like necessary to fully script it out but more of an outline of the main topics and like sections that I'd like to cover but I the whole video is inspired by Crawford's Pocket Guide to Bryce Canyon Trails, which I picked up the last time I went antiquing, and 
I briefly showed you guys this in a previous video and we did a bit of tracing on the trail maps and people liked it so much and asked for more of it and oh I can't even remember if someone specifically asked me to do a park ranger roleplay or not but I like that idea whether I thought of it or not <laughs> and I was such a fan of this um, red design my sister helped me make this list of park rules and regulations and she made this red border for me to match and I'm so happy with how it turned out don't these look like they go together pretty well pretty convincingly pretty convincing set and the rules and regulations some of them I wrote myself but some of them are just copied directly from this and some of the ways that they were worded I found charming like, dress properly. You can get a sunburn in a hurry at this altitude. It's just looks great. What else? Mm. Shortcutting is unlawful and dangerous. Tread carefully, especially if you are wearing smooth soled shoes. Mm. Rest up. If you feel lightheaded or faint, rest a while. I deleted the second half of that um, one, and I wish I didn't. I deleted it because I thought it was stupid, but I wish I kept it because it's stupid. Let me read to you. If you feel lightheaded or faint, rest a while in the shade. It's always cool in the shade, though it may be quite hot in the sun. So true. of her. I, the way that you purchase from her is she'll post on her Instagram when something's available. And for months I had my notifications on for her whenever she posted anything uh, so that hopefully I could snatch it up before somebody else could. And every single time she posted something was available, I would message her um, asking to purchase it and always somebody else messaged her sooner than me. So I missed out a few different times. One day she messaged me with a picture of this one that she hadn't even posted on her Instagram yet and asked me if I wanted it. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's so kind that, you know, it doesn't matter to her. Like, she's going to get paid the same amount whether I buy it or someone else buys it. But she took pity on me for trying and failing so many times and gave me an exclusive opportunity. And I just love her. I love the combination of this pale blush shade with this sort of I don't know, dusty, burgundy color. I love this big bow. I love her button nose, her little eyes, her sweet mouth, her blushy cheeks, chin, and forehead, ears. She's so soft. Her heart tummy, her poseable arms and legs, the little <laughs> uh, burgundy pads on her feet. She goes so well with this pillow. It's like they're made out of the exact same material. Oh, wow. <laughs> that makes me really happy seeing her there. Oh my goodness. This is our bed. Our luxurious princess pillow that she will sleep on every night. Like that. Oh, she looks so cozy in there. Her cloud, her personal cloud. May she have sweet dreams. 